In some countries like the US, sales taxes aren't included in displayed prices. If deodorant costs $5 and the tax rate is 10%, you'd have to pay $5.50 at the cash register. What would happen if prices included taxes? The short answer is a lot. You see, when you buy deodorant, shoes, or even a flying spaghetti monster, you don't fully react to the sales tax. Economists have shown that if the sales tax is 4%, you behave as if the tax rate was actually around 1%. And yes, that's even if you know the sales tax rate is 4%. You're too influenced by the displayed price and fail to fully internalize the sales tax. Indeed, three economists conducted an experiment in the grocery store. They added tax-inclusive prices to the price tax of certain products. Demand for those goods decreased by 8% when comparing to both nearby stores and also comparable goods in the same store. Also, certain goods in the US are taxed twice. And by tax twice, I don't mean by the government and their best friend. Rather, there are two different taxes on the same good. For things like gasoline and alcohol, consumers pay an excise tax and sales tax. The excise tax is included in the displayed price, but the sales tax isn't. Demand reacts more than 10 times as strongly to changes in excise taxes than changes in sales taxes, showing again that taxes have more effects on consumers if they are displayed. What about more expensive items? When the US Department of Transportation mandated that airlines included taxes in all displayed prices, demand for airplane tickets dropped. In addition, demand dropped more heavily for tickets with higher taxes. You see, two travelers flying from the same origin city to the same destination city can pay very different taxes, especially if they travel internationally. When you're traveling from New York City to Tokyo, for example, your taxes depend on which airport you're flying out of, which airport you're flying into, the number and location of layovers, and sometimes the airline itself. On an international trip, if taxes increase by $10 for a particular airline and route, but not other airlines flying the same route, demand would drop by around 5% for that airline and route. So yes, more expensive items, I mean bigger ticket items, are also affected. And it's easy to understand why airlines lobbied hard against the Department of Transportation's regulation. So it looks like we will buy less of many products if displayed prices included taxes. And while we can't run randomized experiments nationwide to determine whether we will actually end up saving more, the evidence we currently have suggests that total expenditure will decrease, leaving us with more savings. You, your mom, and your pet won't be the only people affected. Companies are aware that displayed prices will increase. As such, they may change their selling strategies in favor of less costly products. For example, when StubHub's upfront prices included taxes and fees, sellers marketed less expensive tickets than when taxes and fees were only included at the end during checkout. Also, our health may improve by just a tiny bit. In recent years, governments have been imposing more and more sin taxes on harmful goods, with sugar-sweetened beverages a common target. For example, Boulder has a 22% tax on soda. Sometimes, sin taxes aren't included in the displayed price, so including both the sin tax and the sales tax in the displayed price could result in huge jumps 
and more consumers reaching for healthier alternatives. There is evidence that soda taxes have led to decreased soda consumption in cities like Philadelphia, where soda sales decreased by 28%. Hopefully, there will soon be robust evidence that obesity and diabetes rates decline. Isn't it amazing how many things could change with just one tiny tweak?